Hey everybody, it's Dr. J here. Uh, I wanted to make a short little video. I've been getting a lot of questions about a new device on the market that is supposed to allow you to hack your metabolism. And having been in the industry for over 20 years, obviously a lot of people want to know my take on it. I'm going to make a really short video about this. I did not buy the device, but I definitely looked into it and I can give you my opinion. I don't want to tell you whether to buy it or don't buy it, but I certainly want you to be able to make an educated decision about whether you want to uh, spend any money on something like this. So I want to start off with a little question. What if I told you that I could help you hack your weight loss with a device that you can use at home and for $349 for 18 months, $299 for a year or $249 for six months, I can send you the device. The device comes in the mail, you open it up, and inside is a mirror. Something you can look in and tell yourself whether you need to lose weight. How does this relate to the Lumen device? I'm about to tell you. So let me tell you about some of the problems I have with this device, beginning with what it measures, or maybe what I should say is what it doesn't measure. You need to know that when someone comes to me asking for help with either weight loss or help with gaining weight, gaining muscle, the number one piece of information that I want to know and what I measure is their resting metabolic rate, RMR. That's how many calories they're burning per day at rest. With that information, I can then guide them on what to eat and how much to eat. This device doesn't measure that. What they measure or claim to measure is the RER. And what that is is the uh, ratio of the carbon dioxide being expelled by an individual compared to the oxygen being consumed. That information can have some relationship with the ease of weight loss or uh, difficulty of gaining weight, but it's not the critical piece of information an individual needs to make adjustments in their diet and successfully and efficiently lose or gain weight. That's the first problem. Number two, they're claiming to be measuring RER, but in reality, they're not actually doing that because this device only measures CO2, it doesn't measure oxygen. So what they're doing is they're measuring the CO2 that's coming out of your breath and then they're extrapolating out an RER and then they don't even tell you that your RER because it really wouldn't be of any meaning to people. Um, so what they do is they turn that into a score from one to five, basically you know, one being that you're burning a, a bunch of fats, I think, and then five being you're burning a bunch of carbs, or it's the other way around. But either way, that's all they give you, okay? Number three, this is my biggest problem. The validation study that they're utilizing to validate this product has two employees from the company involved in the study itself one being the co-founder of the company. That's a problem. So what they say is two company employees, including one of the co-founders, contributed to the design, the analysis, and the preparation of the manuscript. In other words, the company selling you the product is in charge of validating their own product. So of course, it's positive validation. At the end of the day, just like this mirror I was trying to sell you to hack your weight loss and give you information you already know, that's what this device does. It's telling you that when you eat carbs, you're burning carbs, and when you eat fats, you're burning fats, or when you don't eat carbs, you're going to burn fats. So you can decide how useful that information is. How they're actually getting people to lose weight and pay this money is by, again, just like every other company out there, throwing them on a diet that goes along with their product, and then some people are gonna lose weight and some people won't, just like any other diet. So that's my analysis uh, of this product. I wanna leave it to you to decide whether it's something for you or not. Um, I'll be putting out other videos where I can give you a more efficient way and less costly way to get better information to help you lose weight or gain weight. But hopefully this helps you at least make a decision, a buying decision for yourself. Thanks. Bye.